Hello, my God, Green Mega Eagle. All right, folks. Uh, Happy New Year. Um, got, got to go back to the future a bit here because uh, I did a, did an intro um, before I started messing around with my uh, hydraulic press, um, and then there was a bit of a pause whilst I was finding a few bits to to complete the project, and I lost that bit of footage. But um, long and short of it is, uh, I got a, a Vivo. Uh, air over oil hydraulic pump um, foot operated integral reservoir I'm sure you've seen the sorts of things before used to be really expensive but um, Vivor are doing them for 100 quid now which is a bit of a bargain like if they last I don't know um, normally like uh, branded ones are like, you know entry level ones 500 quid and then yeah, it goes goes up quite significantly if you want them. Um, but what um, basically uh, this thing grenaded uh, the the little retainer, little brass retainer that holds the ball in place um, in the in the large pump. Yeah, um, the tiny little uh, quarter inch brass collar, and uh, that that disintegrated. I think I was using oil that was a bit too thick for it, yeah? And me getting excited pumping away, and that sent shrapnel around the pump, and it's um, it's done a bit of a number on it. I, th I think I can repair it, but um, it's still still very slow. So I did get one of those Vivor air over oil pumps, and uh, look, just a quick little fill-in video, because um, I'm waiting for paint to dry on a couple of other bits, all right? So here we go, putting the... Uh, Putting the hyd air, putting the pneumatic hydraulic pump on the press and giving it a little test. All right, here we go. Okay, so I've got a new hose made up for this uh, this press. It should allow me to um, connect the British pipe fitting cylinder to the MPT. Uh, hydraulic pump which we're going to mount down on the floor um, this will run straight into the cylinder so I can get rid of this intermediary fitting here which is um, which is for the no drip no drip fitting um, we'll get rid of that, there'll be less restriction it will go up and down quicker then won't it um, <clears throat> what else yeah my old mate, there used to be a hose shop, uh, hose hose maker repair place, uh, just in a you know a tiny little shed of a industrial unit in in Spalding, and he just so he's sold up the last couple of years or something, the last year I don't know I've, I've been there in the last couple of years, but he's retired now, sold his business to one of the big concerns on the industrial estate, and I don't know, it's not the same, <laughs> it's just not the same. Uh, Old, I think his name was Peter, the old fella that used to do it. And you know, even if you did a crap job of explaining yourself, you'd be there. You'd be there in seconds. He'd always understand what you're on about because he's just spent his life building hoses. But yeah, it's a bit sad. A bit sad. I, I, hopefully, the other guys will will learn their trade a bit better. Um, yeah. Anywho, let's uh, let's strip this old stuff off. We'll pop that hose on. See where the see where the box sits. And Okay, we're all hooked up with this hose. Um, I got it bled out. And what? And what, what have we done? I've got the, the lightest oil I could get. Log split oil, ISO 22. So uh, in here before I had auto trans fluid. Um, and that was a bit thick. So especially in the colder months, it was incredibly slow to, to return back up uh, and then I tried putting uh, I think ISO 34 in there or something but that was still too thick um, yeah this is this is returns nicely now but let me let me show you how fast it is with this pedal we got a, this is the crappy airline fitting that came with it we'll have to change this at some point I don't like it too much but It'll do for now. Really wants a right angle on there as well, so I don't kick it off. Um, it latches on the return as well, which is nice. Is nice. 
You can match this as well. There we go. Let me show you. Yeah? It uses quite a bit of air, not too much, obviously the compressor hasn't kicked in yet, is it? But um, look, we can latch it on, on the release. That's good. And it goes up at a decent speed as well. Not fast, I don't think anyone's going to accuse it of being fast. Uh, yeah, a lot faster than it was with a thick, thick fluid. Yeah? Just put another set of holes in here because uh, I switched that when I first got this. Uh, when I first got the frame, it didn't have the bottle um, bottle jack sort of uh, piston that it should have come with. So I put this thing in there, and it's always been a little bit too low the highest settings of. Just done that. Another set of holes. All right. All right. So um, <clears throat> I don't know if you got anything to really press at the minute. It's back in its corner now, uh, this is where it normally lives, out of the way in the corner, like normally I don't need any more access to it because things that I stick in there are, are relatively small and they I only had it pulled out into the middle of the floor to, <coughs> to bend some thick long bits of steel, but well, it will stay here until I have a similar job again I suppose. Uh, you know, scrap like this, aluminium castings, it's, it's, uh, this is the quickest way to break it up so it fits into a crucible and we can we can cast something useful out of it. So let's, uh, let's give it the old um, test. It should breeze through this, no problem, isn't it? There we go. Okay, so obviously if, it, if anyone's going to start messing around with these uh, air over oil pumps, um, what? Just bear in mind that that's um, allegedly 10,000 psi with an input of 100 psi. Yeah, so there's definitely the potential there to exceed, you know. 
the vast majority of um, sort of domestic hydraulic products. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Definitely. Uh, I really need to get a pressure gauge on top here. Um, that's what that little spigot's for on the, on the top there. Uh, nipple, whatever. Um, it's for a little a little gauge that will tell you how many tons you're at. But I've you know I've not yet found one. I have been looking. Um, oh, okay. I'm pretty happy with that. This is this is only a little filling job, guys. Uh, I had I had that. I was just waiting for the opportune moment to fit it to my press, and as the press was already out. Um, and uh, I'm waiting for paint to dry and a few other things uh, seem like a good job. Um, I had meant to do a couple of other little bits and pieces. I keep meaning to make a screen up for this because, you know, I don't know, maybe it's just me, I'm a bit of a pussy or something, but uh, messing around with presses always um, always gets, a, gets the old pooper going, doesn't it? 50p, 20p. Um, but, yeah, I haven't done those jobs because my paint's dry now and I've got other things to get on with. <laughs> All right, so I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Um, the Vivo 100 quid off eBay. Pretty good value for money, I reckon. Seems to work. Uh, for how long, I don't know. I'll let you know if it fucks up. All right, take it easy, folks. Bye-bye.